What's up everyone and welcome back to another Lightroom tutorial. We've got another image sent in for us to edit and this one is sent in by Danny here. So as always, I'll be putting the link down in the description so you guys can go give him a follow down there. And we are working with this image right here today. It's trying to recreate the exact same edit with the exact same photo. So yeah, he also offers you guys his presets here. If you guys like his content, check them out. And yeah, skin to Lightroom. See if we can create something like this. Here's the image from his Instagram and the raw unedited file. So first thing I'm going to do, bring up the warmth a decent amount. And we have already cropped it for Instagram, 4x5. So I'm going to drop the contrast quite a bit. And you might wonder why I'm doing that because there's definitely more contrast in there. But when you have really deep, rich colors like this, that means there's quite a bit of action going on in the color curves. So that's where we're going to get most of our contrast. And that really helps get that deep, rich colors. So we'll do that now. Put a good S-curve in each of these channels. Okay, so that's our S-curves done in the color channels. And I really brought down the shadows point. And that's going to help get really rich colors in the darker areas. So I did that with each. And now with this curve, you can see we, have, we do have a bit of fade in the blacks and shadows. If you look there. So we are going to do an S-curve here as well but more emphasis on a fade. Okay, so that's all our curves done. Drop the saturation a bit. Uh, I'm gonna really bring out the shadows and hopefully that brings out some detail in some of these spots. And if I drop the blacks a bit. Whites. As we just look too bright. In areas like this. So we need to drop them. Bring. We're still pretty bright up here. I'm going to bring some whites down. And we're looking pretty good. I just want to quickly drop these yellows. Really annoying me. So quickly do that. Uh, right, so we need to brighten up her face now, I think. So come up here, grab the brush tool, and we're going to brush pretty much everywhere along her face. Make sure we get the eyes. And we are going to... Bring up some exposure. Keep the contrast up. As you see, it looks a bit flat without the contrast brought up. Quite often when you bring up exposure, you want to think about bringing up the contrast. Uh, 
and I think there's a bit more pop to the one. Chuck up the whites. Maybe some highlights. And I'll leave it about there for now. We'll probably come back to it and get it a bit closer. So, we are going to move on to colors now. We're going to try to get all the colors right. I will just actually add in some grain, not too much. And now let's try to match up these colors. So, first of all, let's roughly get our saturation close to what we want. That will help us pick our colors a little easier. Okay. So, start with our oranges. I think we could look a little more that way. So, when I'm doing these, I'm not looking at the face here because we've, we've brushed that. And I need to look at colors down here, up here, up here, because he hasn't brushed those areas of the photo. He's brushed and altered this area, so I can't rely on looking at these colors to match up. So, make it a little more yellow. These yellows could be a lot more warmer towards more of an orange. Very little greens in there. So make your lips a bit more of a pink. These yellows can come down some more. And again, I'm not looking particularly at the face now. It is too yellow, but I'll fix it up with the brush soon. Ah, uh, luminance. Hard to tell. Might deepen the oranges just a tad. Yellows. So mainly the background. The background on our one looks a little too bright. So bringing down luminance. Alright. Okay, okay. Let's go back to our brush and see if we can get this a bit closer. So, we are looking probably too yellow at the moment. So, let's see what happens if we put a lot of blue in. Now I want to put a bit of a purple in there, maybe not, and then 
playing around with these here, we should be able to get some nice looking skin tones. So maybe we are looking a little too orange. Possibly have to slide these oranges back a bit. Maybe I will touch more warmth. Bit of green will hopefully give a bit of a yellow color. I want Just trying to match up the skin tones. I think that looks pretty close, doesn't it? And one thing, it's gonna get one of these. Add a little bit of sharpening to the eyes. Just bring down the feathering so it affects the whole circle a bit more. And I think we're looking pretty good. We might be looking a little too yellow in the face. But I am, and what I might just do is take away a bit of the saturation out of the face. And a little bit, maybe, well, I'll take the yellows down. About there. And I'll try a slight yellow or green in the highlights. And desaturate these oranges.
and then Just leave it there. Reduce that a little. And put a bit in the shadows. Take a little bit of warmth out of the face. And pretty good. And now we're looking just a little yellow. Might just shift the white balance to a bit more to a purple. But then we need our warmth back in the face a little. And that hopefully does it. Here's our before and after. And yeah, I might try to just leave it there, guys. So if you guys like his content, you can go give him a follow down in the description. I'll put his links down there. Give myself a follow down there as well. And comment down below what you like and don't like about these videos. And yeah, if you're liking them, check out the preset pack. You'll like those. And I will be catching you guys in the next one.